hello everyone welcome back um today i am going to practice manometer as you can see um acrylic nails this is supposed to be acrylic liquid but i call it manometer monomer sorry so we're just gonna open this and um i'm just prepping because i want to do my nails and uh, tomorrow's monday so i gotta do this real quick we're gonna do uh dr seuss themed and whoa i can smell it from here <laughs> i barely opened it and they gave us some nails uh you probably already saw the kit it was like 11 dollars. i took everything out our clear our glue we're not gonna need that because i'm doing a swatch i'm not doing my actual nail and these are my natural nails and i don't need extensions so i'm just gonna leave them like that all right we're not gonna need the orange stick so i'm just gonna leave those things there like I said, we're not going to need them, so it should be good. Last time, I put the acrylic liquid in here because um, I do not have a glass little thing to put them in. But today, I went to the store, Dollar Tree, and uh, I bought these little storage containers for $1.25. So, this is what we will be using. Let me go get scissors. And just to let you know, I have worked with this before. Uh, I actually posted the Spanish video. And um, it's where I did orange and yellow from the same company. Uh, this is, oh, you can barely see it on this one. <laughs> but it's um, the Beatles um, dip powder. Why is it not focusing? There we go. And, um, so I basically did these colors, and then put clear, and then, um, put yellow top, top coat, sorry, because it did not come in the kit. It had no, uh, no activator, no, uh, top coat, so I decided to use, um, my own. And we did this beautiful orange from, uh, the Beatles. Beatles Company. Oh, let me put it on the tissue. It will reflect the color, the name, number. So this was the orange and the yellow. And um, the yellow is pretty thin. As you can see, very nice. I don't know if this is... Oh, you know what happened here? I decided to leave this empty. Like, no top coat here. That's why it looks different. It looks weird. That's why it's not shiny. But this is all gel top as you can see the shine here i didn't add it just to see the difference and i wanted to do an ombre looking kind of thing so here you go the ombre with top coat all over it it does look like the candy cane sorry candy corn candy so there's that all right it's been three minutes let's get into our beautiful colors so i really want to test how they look like how these colors look once i do it on my actual nail i'm going to do well it already has clear under this is all dip so i'm trying manometer because dip takes a long time and i don't want to um you know keep wasting uh powder you know and putting it on a page and having to pour it up uh pour it back into the container so i'm gonna try acrylic you know manometer and, you know, I'm learning, you know, I'm learning how to do the bead and I'm learning how to do the, the you know, the, the manometer and all that. So I'm going to open our powders. I love how this matches that one. Beautiful. And uh, tomorrow it's the first day of our spirit week, Dr. Seuss themed. So in, it's kind of like one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, the book by Dr. Seuss. So I'm going to, um, you know, make sure that I have those colors. We we're supposed to wear white as well, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wear red and blue. I'm not going to do a three color ombre. Maybe in the future, not right now. So I'm going to take the little container from the one that I bought. And um, really small, as you can see, compared to the lid, it's a little less space on the bottom which is nice because if it's shorter less that means the liquid will go up it won't be all on the bottom 
so I really like that and we're gonna use our brush I really like using the, the brush making sure that you guys can see it to really uh, you know pour this in it doesn't go anywhere we're not gonna use a lot and um, gotta be careful because this is made out of plastic so you know it could um, it could just like beep, it could slid it could um, you know drip everything so you gotta be very careful I already ordered a, a, what's it called a monomer kit it was like glitter and three brushes and like three colors three acrylic powders actually so I'm really excited about that it has like monometer so I'm gonna be like officially doing manometer nails and um, so I'm really excited so how are we gonna start I usually, I would do clear on uh, if it's a, like an actual nail like a real person nail you know real client real finger I would do clear first just to protect the nail from the colors and if you're drilling it down filing it it will really protect it because you don't want to go with the drill with the e-file all the way to the natural nail. you don't want to do that so you got to put a clear um, or white um, layer on the bottom just to keep it safe so we're gonna go and start I don't know what color to do on top hmm maybe red on top I don't know we'll see or maybe I can just do one color at a time you know what I mean so I'm gonna look at that look at that beauty this is a medium bead maybe oh I love that I love how I don't have to like fight with it I love it and it's not really runny be careful not to stab it we're just gonna carefully move it so I'm not fighting with it I just gotta make sure that I'm not stabbing it and carefully control it carefully guide it it's not very runny which is nice However, I don't like wasting powder, so I'm going to try to, like, put it there. But it's not working, so I'm going to have to, you know, put it on the napkin. Oh, well. As you can see, it looks a little purple, but, um, you know, it is what it is. This is clear manometer. Right? You can't really see the... As you can see, one, two, three... It really soaks it up, not gonna lie. Look at that beauty. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, this one's uh, sticking a little, but we're just gonna kind of put it there. Kind of let it sit there. It's pretty, it's a pretty blue, but it's like way darker than I thought. Like the color in the, um, the color in the powder like it's really nice but like it's way too dark <laughs> this would be like a nice blue to dark like blue to black kind of ombre that would be cool I'm gonna do a little omenometer just to like make this a little runny for more coverage gotta be careful of your sides I just wanna put this there kind of Put that there. So that was two beads, I think. I'm just gonna try to soften this, not make it too bumpy. I do have a lot of manometer on my brush, so it might not be the brightest idea to have all this manometer on there. But there you go. Not too shabby. I don't even know what shabby means, but you know, not bad. Not bad. We're gonna let that dry for like five minutes. All right, so we're not gonna need acrylic right now. So I'm just gonna, oh, look at that color. I hate wasting color. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. Mm -mm, I don't. So that's our bead. So now we're gonna do the red one. So let me grab the nominer. Let me make sure I clean my brush cause I don't wanna contaminate the red. Really make sure that you got a clean brush right. I think that's as much as I can do it's sticking it's sticky and I don't know why it's sticking 
Let's, let's see what it says. <laughs> we use the red. Let's see if it works. Oh, I love the color. Okay, this is not how I planned it. But I love the color. Like I said, this is dip powder. So, it's not going to be perfect. You know, it is what it is. Look at that color. And honestly, I, I I don't care. I'm just trying to practice. I'm just trying to see how it works. And um, I don't want to waste this little stuff that I have on here. I really don't like wasting it. I'm sorry. I don't like wasting it. I think that was contaminated. Let me just put it on the side. And no, I'm not wearing a mask right now. So uh, shame on me. What time is it? 10? All right, 10 minutes. Almost 11 minutes. Okay. So our brush is going to go over here. Where's my... Oh, phenomenon is over here. Well, acrylic powder. That's what it's called. So, I don't know if plastic is better or glass in terms of... I know for the weight, so it doesn't, like, tilt over. But in terms of, of, of the, like, the liquid being absorbed by plastic, I don't know. So, I'm just going to lightly try to figure out how to do that. There we go. That way it's not there. Blows the acrylic liquid so it's not in the way. You know, I'm just going to leave it here just so you can see it. Just so I don't lose it. And we're going to continue with our journey. And honestly, I haven't really tapped it or anything in terms of like letting go of acrylic. Look at that beautiful bead. Isn't it lovely? Lovely. Okay, maybe I put too much. Because that bead did not want to come with me. And I am just trying to covering coverage. Just trying to cover that the nail. Have a good color. I don't wanna, you know, take too much. I don't wanna do more damage than you know than I can't than I should. <laughs> you know, I just wanna I just wanna know how my color looks on the nail. And this is like way faster than dip powder because you know, dip you gotta do the base and then like you gotta do one layer and then you gotta do base again and then another layer and here it's like yeah you're gonna have to wait for it to dry but like at the same time it's like oh you know immediately how the color looks you know i don't know i feel like it's it's a lot nicer so yeah that's why i'm doing this that's why i bought the kit Eleven dollars wasn't so much, anyways. So I'm like, okay, and it was at the store. Come on, you can see we don't have really a lot compared to the orange one. The orange one was something else. Always make sure to take care of your sides. Ooh, look at that beauty! Now, what do I mean by the orange? The orange, I mean this. Like I shaved, like I, I. I filed it, but it was bumpy and it was weird. <laughs> so yeah, be careful. All right, so those are done. Wow, it took me like three minutes. Wow, impressive. All right, now we're going to do the ombre. And I don't know which way to do it. Should we do on top blue and red on the bottom? Or should we do it backwards? I don't know. I don't know which one's better. I think blue on top is, is like way better. So I'm going to kind of clean my brush. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's definitely red. All right, so tap it a little. All right, let's try blue. Pretty big bead, but let's give it a minute to absorb. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that beauty. All right, we're going to put it at the top. Please let go. I think I added too much manometer. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to. And I'm like, you have no choice. Okay, don't stab it. Just feather it. See, I'm, 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 I'm learning, you know. I'm struggling a little, but this is like the second time I try acrylic. So, And it's not on a real nail yet, so, you know. All right, so. There's that. Just nicely feather it nicely. You know, this is a swatch, so you don't have to worry about the cuticle at the moment. But, you know, you just gotta be careful. Just 
It's gotta be nice. Alright, and we're just gonna smooth it a little. Now I'm just making this thin, because I do not want a big nail, you know? I really don't. I don't really mind the apex kind of thing. Because my nails are, you know, short right now. They're not really long. And I'm not going to wear extensions, because that's going to take more work. I do admit that I need practice with, with extensions, though, so. Yeah. That's my issue there. I'm just trying to make this a little... Go down a little. One bead. I'm just trying to make sure that this is all on the swatch. I don't want to have to clean it. But, anyways, it is what it is. Alright, so that's our nail. Pretty dark. But I am going to try to work on it. Okay, not bad. Alright. I don't know why it's sticking to the plastic. But <laughs> we're going to try the red one. One, two, three. Alright. We're going to... Oh, another one that was a little too wet. I do love the red. I love the red. It's like Harley Quinn looking. Oh, I love it. Alright, so... This one was a little too close to the free, net, free edge, so we're going to softly pull it upward to mix it, to like create this ombre look. Ombre sounds like hombre, which means uh, male in um, Spanish. I don't know, I just thought it was nice. Look at that difference, look at that bumpiness. Okay, let's make sure we... Huh. Soften it before it dries. Before it's too late. So we're just going to close that gap up there. Just carefully make sure you look at it, especially through the barrel. And I think what the barrel means like this. Make sure that it's nice. So, just like that. Make sure you take care of your sides. Make sure that the colors make sense in terms of like where they are. Make sure you pay attention to every angle. Every angle. Okay. I am missing a little red here. But it, it is what it is. I'm not going to bother that much. It's a swatch. Not bad, I guess. Not not bad. I might need a lighter blue though. This is way too dark. But there you go. That's our that's our nails. <laughs> Let me get rid of this stuff here. I'm gonna need more manometer to clean up the brush. We still need these to dry so I can put the clear on top. So we're not gonna need the other ones though. So uh oh uh oh I forgot I have product on here. Oh no 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 no. Always be careful. Where you put your stuff? Always be good. I can, well, I can, I'll figure this out. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so we're not going to need this blue anymore. Because honestly, um, too dark. But it's good to know, you know. This is too dark though. <laughs> like, I even had a drawing, you know. I had a little drawing. Little drawing. And I was going to do dip powder at first. And I've seen how they do like dip powder on one side and then another color on the other. And, you know, they just, like, tap it. But, like, this is way darker than that. <laughs> so, I'm like, mm, do we have another color? I know I have this one from a Soul Beauty. Oops. I mean, you can kind of see it on video, the difference. But, honestly, right now, they look the same. But, who knows? Maybe I can try it. Maybe. We'll see. I am curious to see how manometer changes things. And I do like this one. And it's going to be a normal nail. It's not going to be like glitter and sparkle. Because I know I do have a, two red ones for um, Azure Beauty as well. I have this shiny one. Which was part of my first set. When I started doing dip powder. 
And then we have the other one, which is like super shiny. I might try this one for Hat Cat in the Hat, because that is um one of the nail designs I want to do, as you can see. This one's like way darker. I don't know if I should do it though. Hmm, very interesting. Maybe I can do like maybe white, white um uh dip powder, and then this one. And maybe at the end, just sprinkle a little of this one. Just like with a, um, a scooper, just slightly, not even dip it, you know, just slightly uh, put it on there before it um, before it dries up. That way it's it's there. Then I can put the cu uh, clear on with uh, the acrylic pa uh, liquid and it's going to be nice. So, let's see. This was our first nail. All right, it's not completely dry. This is a really dark color. I think it's still a little soft. Yes, definitely a little soft. I stabbed it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? There we go, see? I stabbed it a little. But this is pretty good for... um. Just in general, the, um, um, what's it called? Um, it's good for clear, you know? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put more manometer, because we're gonna do clear coat on top. And it's been definitely five minutes for the first nail. So, I'm gonna do that right there. That's the thing here. This is not glass, so I can't just leave the brush there because then it's gonna tilt. See what I mean? See what I mean? Can't leave it because then it's gonna spill. And you know, I'm not getting my kit until like four days. So you I gotta be really careful with what I do, how I do it. Cause I don't want this to go to waste. And I don't want the smell to be everywhere after all, of course. You know, on top of that, so be very careful with your brush. All right, and then <laughs> you gotta share. Okay, be nice. All right, so look at that beautiful rainbow color. So this one had a little um, covering; it had a seal, like aluminum ish, I think. Took it off because I already used it, of course. So we're gonna put this over here. That way it's not completely covered with product that can stick to everything. So, we are going to do the blue one, right? So, can you, can you all see this? Yeah, you have clear. Um, <laughs> clear, nice. Alright, not a lot of manometer. We're going to get our bead. Ooh, I think it has a little red, but as you can see, it has a little red liquid. But look at that, it's shiny, it's nice, I love it. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh lovely, I love that. We're gonna put a little manometer, because it looks a little rough. We're gonna push it, push it. We're gonna, we wanna encapsulate the whole nail. And we wanna act quickly before this thing dries, because it happened to me last time. And it was a pain to have this bumpy thing on my nail, on my swatch. And be like, um, I can't move it. It's, it's like completely like done. It'd be like, no thanks. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> don't bother me. I I'm set. You see, so you see what I mean? I can't work with it anymore. It's completely set. It's like it's not. It's refusing to work unless I put pressure on it, and it will kind of work. But you know, you got You wanna, you wanna be nice to it. You know what I mean? So it depends. Alright, so we're gonna try this again. I mean, I don't mind a runny bead right now. <laughs> so we're gonna try this again. Lovely. Look at that. It's beautiful. We're gonna put it just a little on the bottom. This one is a little runny. That's okay. Because I don't mind. I really don't mind. It's okay. Alright, we're just gonna. Make sure everything is you no know, connected. Careful with the sides. Perfect. 
So we gotta make sure it goes up there, that it connects, that it's not on the side. Just gotta make sure everything is beautifully connected, sealed. There's a little piece that didn't cure there. But anyways, I need light because I can't see. <laughs> this color is way too dark. I'll tell you that. I don't like that. I don't like that it's dark. Because then I can't see it. I don't like that. There we go. Much. Oh, wow. This is bad. <laughs> Look at that. How do I get rid of it? <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you should not do this, but uh, who cares? It's a swatch. As you can see, the difference. All right. I'm just going to remove that from there. This clear. This clear not be doing its thing. Well, it's probably doing its thing. I'm not the one doing it right, though. So I'm going to do clear again. Maybe need more. Okay, and then. Oh, it's not sticky. Right, and I do want that on there. Oh, oh, oh too much manometer. It's running. Right, we're going to put it on that side. Make sure it's completely sealed. That side too. Careful the side. All the way to the tip before it wants to act up. All right. You can see I have things on the side. So just going to make sure that I'm completely sealing everything. You want to make sure that you are kind of blending the beads together. That way it's not bumpy and weird when you have to, um, you know, file it. And it's like, ugh, uh, bumps and stuff all over, you know. So be careful. So yeah. Something like that. <laughs> that was uncured. That was like powder and like it did not go all the way through. So, um. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Where do I put it? <laughs> I guess I could put it like over here on top of this. All right. We're going to clean this up and the clear really gets stuck to the to the um to the brush. It really does. So be really careful. Very careful. All right. So, let's see. Let's try. The red was the other one, right? Oh, look at that beauty right there. It's really dry. It's like set. And it's beautiful. I love it. All right, there's like stuff under here. But anyways. Alright, so. I'm going to put manometer. This is really sticking. It's picking up. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Uh, that is a lot of manometer, so let's clean it up a little. You can see, you can see how it's taking time to like get to that little beads right there to like fully. Yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we're going to try to make this work. Alright, that's manometer. Alright, we tried. Alright, that's all I can say. We, we tried, okay? We tried. It only worked like halfway through and I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I think that was the, man the part that the manometer didn't work on. Okay, we got some manometer in here. I don't know what's going on. Got some manometer that is not wanting to work. Come on. Heal it. Heal it. <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put this bead over here. Alright, not bad. It, it came off by itself-ish. Now we're gonna try to. Well, I don't want to stab it, but like I want this to like go down here. Kind of worked. Not gonna lie. All right, this is not going how I wanted. The last time, I didn't struggle this that much last time. We're gonna put new manometer on. Actually, let me clean this one off. 
I'm just gonna clean it. But I feel like it's struggling. You can see there's a lot going on. A lot going on in there. Can somebody explain? <laughs> Cause I got no clue. It's strong. Oh, there's like there's like product on there. Oh look at that! It's like a spider web. That is scary. Right, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try a new new little bucket. Is that why plastic is not good for this? Is that why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, new napkin. Let's try this again. Alright. Very careful. I'm getting comfortable with the manometer. As you can see, I put a little bit too much, maybe. I'm gonna be very careful with the swatch, the brush. Oh no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay where you're supposed to be. Stay. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta act quickly because these are rebels. They are rebels, I tell you. Alright. Gonna excuse our manometer. I don't, I don't like how it's dugish. So we're gonna... Is this recording? Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to miss anything. Alright, alright. It's completely-ish. Security. Alright, we're gonna have to put the speed on here. I'm gonna quickly work on this. Quickly. I'm going to try to cover the whole nail. Not with one bead, but like, you know. Just try, cause I don't want to keep struggling. <laughs> For real. Come on, come on, work with me. Work with me. All right, not bad. Okay. Look at that little bubbles. Look at those bubbles. They look so cute. Okay. There is a hair in there. Like a brush hair. That's a little, um, concerning. I might have added too much clear. I really hope the manometer does its job. I added too much. <laughs> oh, no. Alright. Let me put, let me clean this up. There we go. Much better. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh no, 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 no. All right, too much manometer. Let's teach what's who's boss. Oh no, I ruined it. I ruined it. Go that way. Go that way. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. All right. Okay, okay, not bad. I can handle this. Oh, no, maybe not. Go back. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll do dip. Maybe I'll do dip now just for the heck of it. <laughs> I don't mind doing dip. This is this is not correct. You do what I say, okay? You do what I say. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> That's how we end up with a bomb beard. <laughs> you don't want to do what I want it to do. Oh, well. It's a nail. What am I going to do about it? Oh, well. We tried. <laughs> we we tried. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Let's do the final nail. <laughs> It's official. I'm, I'm doing, I'm sticking to dip powder. It's a little soft. If you do damage, you, you can do damage if you want to do damage. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's soft for sure. You see the little end there right there? That's soft. But it don't matter. Because we are going to do clear one two three oh there's like powder falling off i don't know if this was the best idea i could have had no i'm just gonna put it in there don't play with me all right i'm gonna kind of cure it just gonna try to go for the cuticle before it goes oh i touched the cuticle <laughs> The imaginative 
imaginatory cuticle. Look, there's white now. Okay, that's not that bad. I would have white on there. So, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. Because they want me, they want us to take white, blue, and red tomorrow. So, you know, not that bad. You know, it's not that bad. I would have white after all. No biggie. Okay, maybe I should work with smaller beads. You know, just, just in case. Smaller bead. Smaller workload. I don't know if this is cured over here, so. Not cured, but like, ah, it's too runny. Alright. Let's be careful. Alright. Let me make sure that this is not too runny. I want to make sure everything's cleared. Everything's uh, clear. <laughs> Covered. Basically cleared. There it is. Yeah. So th this ain't moving. Even if I stab it. It's not going to work. Alright. So let's try that again. That's the thing. You can't really know where you need it. Where is that? It's got to keep going. Small beads is what we do here. Alright, let's try to cut, make sure everything's covered. Maybe we can do, it's going to be the last bead, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think we can make this the last bead. We don't need it to be all the way. Just got to make sure it's covering everything. Yep, I think that's it. We covered it. Lovely. We just need to let it dry now. All right, perfect. Lovely. All right, so there's that. Let's focus on our brush. There's probably product in here. Probably? I don't know. Not bad, not bad. Last time I could, like, really for real feel product in there. But no, not today. Huh. Interesting. I do want to like make sure I clean this. It's not really like kind of like that. Okay. So we got clear done. Oops. Careful. All right. Clear. All right. Beautiful nails. Beautiful. Oh. Ooh. I love that line. I love that line. You see that line? I love that line. Oh. There's a bump right there. It always happens. Like, the first bead is, like, always like that. It's, there's a bump. All right. So, we're going to let these dry. I forgot how long. <laughs> All right. Ooh. I like that. And since it's a clear, it's an actual acrylic powder, it takes less time to cure and all that. This one probably still... Ah! Yeah, this one's soft. It'll take a few. All right, so that's red. All right, that's that. But we're gonna let that dry. Oh dear. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, we're probably gonna figure that out. And that's the new one. Look, one little mark there, and it's it's game over for that little thing. Oh, okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm get we're gonna we're not gonna need manometer anymore. So I'm gonna clean this up. And I did get a new tissue because the other one was messy. As you can see, it's it's messy in there. All the product in there. All the product. And this is just temporary until the kit comes. It's going to have its own little glass. And I will look for videos, you know, having to do is uh, cleaning. Whoa. Cleaning materials, cleaning all that stuff. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. Okay. <laughs> All right, gotta be careful with these um things. All right, let me go throw it away. Can't leave anything on the table. Goodness. All right, let me make sure you can see over there. Oh yeah, I did. I did get a new brush. Ah, uh, dollar store. This is all from the dollar store. Anyways, so we're gonna get our little um blanky, little blanket, because I don't have a dust collector, and I did. You know, uh, e-file, and then at the end, once I was like, oh, I don't want to keep going, you know, I just like, beam, 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 and then I shaped it. It works really nice, not gonna lie. I've been working with it. I bet you can see the little lines there in white. 
really nice and it's not sharp like a like an actual hand file because it's already been dull so you're not really hurting the cuticles you just got to be careful with it oopsie yeah you're soft <laughs> stay there all right this one it does have sharpness so be careful try to like dull it out all right this is the one we're working on soft rough as you can see i've already worked with it before we're just trying to like make sure this is clean, that this is nice, you know. So, I'm just going to do the obvious parts first. And this is exactly why we have a dust collector or um, what's it called? A little place where we can um, collect all that dust. Look at that. Amazing. We're just going to, you know, just... I really love this um, this way of like filing. I, oh, I think it's like this, the file thumbs like this. And then you just, bam, bam, because of the risk, up and down, up and down, you know? Just be really careful to try to do it in one direction, depending on how you're working. And the clear will help. Ow, I stabbed myself. <laughs> You guys are pointy. All right, so um, it helps protect the color. And as you can see, all those uneven spots with the clear was causing trouble. And I could not control it. So this takes practice, all right? That's all I'm saying. This is the second time I try an almoner or acrylic powder, acrylic liquid, I mean. And, um, you know, it's not a complete mess. I don't know how much pow powder I'm wasting compared to dip powder, but, you know, it's good to know different techniques, different systems. It's good. Because some clients want that, you know. They don't have time for dip. So, you gotta know how to do different things. Alright, not bad. It's not gonna be perfect. I still gotta do the other nails. So, you know, I just wanna make sure. This is nice. Just gotta be careful. You've seen how, how I'm struggling when I when I try to do like that? Way different from the actual. So there's different ways to do it. Oh, pretty nice, not bad. And um like I said, this one did not come with a top coat. I know, it looks awful. So I'm going to use the beetle ones. The beetle top coat. And um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to clean the nail with um, some nice some stuff. Oh, this is really bumpy. <laughs> Can you see that? It's so bumpy. Alright, let's try it. And there's different... Different... Um, Filing ways, but um, you know, some things you just gotta. You know, I kind of want to use the e file for this just to test it out. I did test it out already with my thumb, and I have the battery and everything, so I'm gonna try it. Hold on, took me a bit, but <laughs> a bit nice. So, but we got it. Um. So like I said, these are swatches, and I've been doing my own nail. So uh, this is the same band I used from the tutorial. Just gotta make sure this is, uh, you know, off before you start, before you plug it in, actually. So just in case, I'm going to plug this in somehow. Careful. There we go. All right. Once that's done, I'm gonna turn it on. That's reverse. So this is for lefties. Reverse for lefties. And then this is the lowest speed, as you can see right there. Lowest speed. If you go higher, or you go slower, up to you. I'm learning, so I'm going to do the slowest. It's pretty powerful, not going to lie. Alright, so you hold it. I'm a lefty, so... Let's see. All right. So, oh, okay. I see. All right. So you can see this, right? So just gotta be careful. 
Make sure you angle it. You uh, you have an anchor. Be really careful. Make sure how you're working on it. If it's correct, make sure you're looking where you're going. You know, kind of sort of stuff. <laughs> this is this is very soft. All right, this is a band. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. This is the lowest speed, okay? Just saying. You gotta look at the nail, be very soft, not a lot of pressure. Alright. Very carefully. I don't even know how I'm doing. Very carefully, softly. Alright, <laughs> All right, maybe this is not. Alright. Okay, now it's on the other side, so let me just correct my, my anchor. This is, I'm still learning, guys, okay? <laughs> you can make fun of me, it's alright. Alright, so we're gonna, whoa, be careful. This is going forward, so you don't want to do that, though. You want to go in slide motions. Gosh, this is difficult, okay? <laughs> This is difficult. <laughs> I gotta be careful though. Alright, angle it. Is this on the slowest? I'm sorry guys. It is on the lowest speed. Be careful of the finger. Alright, so the man, you can do this like that. You can go under the nail, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> Unless you have a firm a firm goodness. <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> All right. I do know that I have <sighs> breeze, breeze, control, firm, anchor. You know what you're doing, where you're going. Soft, soft, control. Look at the nail, how it's going. And don't stay in the same spot. I'm using a swatch. You're using a real finger with blood in it. This makes speed heat. Be really careful. If you keep it in the same spot, it will create create heat. And heat is painful for people. So be really careful. You understand. Alright, so. Just like that. This is taking longer than I thought. All right. Oh, we have that bump right there. Always try to get the anchor, ankled, anchored. To be honest, you know I'm still getting comfortable to, um, you know, the drill, making sure that this is. Still, you know, trying to make sure that I have the right speed, I got the right angle. You see, it kind of worked. Kind of worked. I don't know, this is not part of the nail, but, you know, everything is good practice. So, we're just going to leave it like that, okay? <laughs> this nail, this e-file is taking more time than it needs to. Just for safety, I'm going to unplug it from this first. And then from the drill, and then we just remove the bit. If it's completely off, unless it's haunted, then it won't, you know, be able to come back to life and like do all that stuff. Next one, as you can see, it has a big bump on top. So all I'm gonna do is gonna try to um, flatten that. Actually, well, I could use the file. For it. I know the file is really good at this. Like if I put enough force, I think it could do the job. Or well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. This is kind of soft though. <laughs> gotta be careful. Alright, gotta be careful. Alright, so. There's that. Kind of soft. 
You can see I'm peeling away color. So that's why the clear is there. To have a protective layer. So you're not filing away the color that you worked so hard to put on there. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> you got a problem. I'm filing color away. Oh no. So you got to be really careful how you're doing these things. Make sure you give it enough uh, time to dry up and all that good stuff. Yeah, this, the other one did not take that long. The one in Spanish, the one where I did orange and yellow. But then again, the yellow was pretty thin. So, now that we have our things, look how messy they look. Uh, terrible. We're gonna get our little pad. And I know I had another one, but it's all the way over there. So, I'm just gonna get my little alcohol pad. This is for mostly for cleaning all that dust, all that dust in your fingers. Especially on the nail. Just gonna. I forgot to soften it, but whatever. No, we just wanna make sure these are ready for the gel top. Remember, these are just practice, they're not real. This is just, you know, giving you an idea of how the kit works. And me just, just practicing, you know? With a bit, you can kind of, I guess, use it a little. Be careful though, because this is coarse, and it will, it will take away the little fabric. So, be careful. Take good care of your drill. This is why you use a little, um, what's it called? A dust blocker. I don't know what it's called, but like it blocks uh, so that the dust does not go in there and damage the drill. So be really careful with your drill, especially the hand piece. All right, so with that said, you can still see bits and pieces of where the clear was on. I chipped away some stuff there. These are not the best nails, <laughs> so I'm going to say they look weird. <laughs> but we'll see how the top coat changes that. So this is the top coat for uh, beetles. There we go, lovely. Dip powder, of course. Let's see. I'm just gonna add one layer because um, these are swatches and I don't really mind if they only have one. Ideally, if it was like a real nail and you wanted to get the full effect, it would be two two layers. But this one's one, so I don't really mind. So I'm gonna let that dry. And we're gonna go in for the red. And you will carefully see how it goes into the patches <laughs> this is why it's better to have a smooth nail but hey you do what you gotta do like I said these are just practice swatches I'm just practicing I want to see how the colors look so that's all I'm saying this these are not going on real people you know I'd be losing clients if, if they were <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna do the last one. All right. Trying to cover every little area all the way. No, oh, there's a hair there. I don't like the hairs. They mess with the application and stuff like that. I don't like it. All right, so. There's that. We're gonna let them dry. All right. Yes. Those are our nails. Look at that. Not the best, but hey, better than nothing. I should be doing home up though. I'll probably try the dip powder. I'm more familiar with it. I might do these colors. I don't know. I might do, I don't know if I should do like a dip, like a like a nail, French nail dip. Maybe it'll look nice. I don't know. We'll see. I'm really not sure, to be honest. But like, these are the colors. That's what we got. I might try Azure Beauty, because you can see the nail is a little more bluish. Not so dark. It's like a navy. That is like night. Night. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I might do 
red and then like this on top kind of like what i did to this nail but like this i feel like that could be nice ish yeah not bad not bad we could try it i mean i'm only gonna do this for like two weeks it's not gonna be forever it's not a tattoo so you know that's nice neat it's gonna be like just dipped and stuff like that so really excited oh it's it's getting there lovely oh nice it's already set lovely so last thing i do was these nails i put out oh wow we did not clean that part <laughs> we did not clean the back oh well this is already dry so it's not gonna do much but anyways an m for manometer i know it's not manometer it's acrylic powder but still all right and then this is the z5 three nine and then this is z five three six and they all have top coat i forgot what i put here blue and red right ombre 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 and of course i'm just gonna put the date today is the 26 2023 2 26 2023 and then of course the date on this one it's not easy all right, and yes, I am a lefty. All right, was my left hand. 2023. Oops. All right, so there you go. Our nice little nails. I don't know why this one keeps heading hairs. I don't know what's wrong with it. Where is it getting it? As you can see, there are some patches where it's like sticky. Oh, I thought there were. There's bits and pieces here, like where it's missing. But it mostly seems secured. Nice. Oh, yeah, a little bumpy, but you know, it's soft. It's not sticky or anything. Not bad, not bad. I like it. So, there you go. Kinda. You can kind of see the colors. <laughs> you know, big difference from what the colors look like. This is like red, red. I don't know why it shows it like that. Much better. <laughs> so yeah, guys. There you have it. Lovely colors. That is that red. That's awesome. I like it. Alright, so there you have it, guys. This took longer than the other video. Like 10 minutes longer. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We're just trying stuff. Again, the kit was $11. So up to you if you want to try it. I'm sure you can do a better job than me. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just nice to, you know, try something. And, um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I can do ombre on tip. I'll just have to try it later. Because right now, I gotta do homework. So, there's that. So, gotta clean up and all that. Maybe, you know, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll update you guys. And, um, as for the brush. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. It totally has product on there. See how it's all oh, it's stuck. Oh, I can feel the, the product. It's sticky. I'm gonna have to leave some manometer on there. Alright, so what I'm gonna do manometer it's it's what it's gonna take. I tried acetone during the last time. It did not work, so I'm just gonna Keep it tilt. And, whoop, careful, careful. Very careful. And just leave it like that. Just let it absorb. Let it do its thing. Let it, you know, just work it out with its own manometer thing. And honestly, just hope for the best. Um, yeah, because I'm going to do dip powder anyways, but I don't want to damage the brush, you know. Although I do have another kit coming. And that's going to be a uh, manometer kit. I still want to take care of the stuff. I don't want to damage it or anything like that. So I'm going to be careful with this. Try to put it somewhere where um, it's not going to be a big issue. You know, where it can be for a little bit until it cures. So we'll see. But yeah, with that said, thank you so much for being here. Um, this is from the KISS um, kit. $11.00. I got it at CVS, but I'm sure you can find it at Walmart and maybe, you know, other stores like that. 
And um, this is, again, from the Beatles kit. Very nice colors. This is the unicorn kit from the Beatles. The dip powder Beatles. Um, drill, of course. Uh, Air Sea drill. I'm still trying to get familiar with it. Trying to, you know, practice it and get comfortable with it. That spinny thing, that spinny thing where I lost control and it went around the nail. Gotta be really careful. Really careful. And if you get scared, the client is gonna get scared. That person that you're working on is gonna get scared. They are not gonna like the drill. You are not gonna like the drill. So you gotta be really careful. Practice a lot. Practice, practice, practice. Get comfortable. Get be a pro. And then you know you'll have uh you know more uh confidence in the things you do. So practice a lot, especially on yourself before um, trying it on a client because um, you want to make sure that you know what's going on, what's going to happen, what to expect, especially for them, you know, especially when you use a drill, like, let me know if you feel like it's too hot, if I'm going to, to, you know, if it hurts, especially that communication because it's important. I, my friend, the one that um, I did her nails, she told me that um, our friend, when she, when her, our friend did her nails, she was using a drill and she told me, uh, and I was curious too, you know, I was like, oh, what with the drill, you know, because I'm learning the drill too, you know, and I wanted to know. And, you know, it's her friend. So we talked about it, and she told me how she um, she could feel a little pain, a little of, maybe a little heat, but mostly pain, I think. Not a lot, you know, because she, she didn't tell her. She she held it, you know, she, she, she kept quiet. She didn't tell our friend. And I'm like, you gotta tell her, not only for safety, but also for our friend, to like know hey something's going on i don't know if you're adding too much pressure i don't know if you are not moving the you know if, you, if you're staying in the same spot if you're adding too much pressure or it's too much speed you know something's going on something has to change otherwise you know it's not gonna be it's not gonna go nice uh, especially for the nail for the client you know because this person might be doing damage to the nail to the person to the finger and not even know because the client decided to hold in the pain, decided to not complain. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? Let the person know, hey, you know, just express yourself, communicate. Because then we don't know, we let it slide, you know, nothing happens, nothing changes. And, you know, we could be losing a customer because nobody told us, hey, you need to change this. Or like, hey, this, that hurts. Hey, that, that, you know, it's I'm not comfortable with that. You gotta speak up. You gotta let us know. All right, very important. So, as a person that does nails, as a person that does a service, whatever it may be, try it on yourself. Practice, and let your client know. Hey, let me know of this. Do you have any feedback, comments, concerns, questions? You gotta have a really good communication, and really good, um, you know, communication skills. Otherwise, you know, you might lose a client. So. Be really careful, even if you're friends. Let them know, hey, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Something bad happens, let me know. Because then you don't know. And that person could go home and, you know, suffer, you know, and be like regret and guilt, and, you know, all that stuff. So be really careful. I really, 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 really plead you that um, you're very careful, especially with those machines, because they are powerful. And, um, yeah. Anyways, it's been an hour. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. And I can't wait to keep practicing these methods. See ya. God bless.